Hi guys, this is Sadek from Rodwin.com and in this video, we will show you how to root the latest Android 15 GSI ROM using two methods. The first one is using the DWRP custom recovery, whereas the second one is via the magisk file. So let's get started. Before that, please take a backup of all the data on your phone. And once that is done, so the first method is using the custom recovery. And if your phone does have a custom recovery such as DWRP or Orange Fox or Pitch Black, then you may refer to this method but if your phone does not have this recovery then you could try out the second method which involves patching and flashing the boot or the init boot img file this does not involve any custom recovery whatsoever moreover please note that it is highly not recommended to use any aosp recovery in other words you, you should not use the lineage os cr droid or evolution x recovery to, to sideload the magic zip file that is not recommended so keeping those points in mind Let's get started. First of all, I'll show you how to obtain root on a GSI ROM using the TWRP recovery. So get hold of the Android SDK platform tools for my guide and extract them onto your PC. You may extract them anywhere you want. In my case, I've done the extraction in C drive. And these are all the files of platform tools as you could see over here. Once you've done the extraction, you will now have to enable USB debugging and OEM unlocking as well on your phone. So let's do that. Go to the settings menu. So let me show you as of now i am running the latest android 15 gsi rom it's the flex ui but the steps are applicable across all the android 15 gsi rom the rom name and the build does not matter so with that said you will now have to enable developer options so for that go to settings about device about phone and tap on build number seven times this will enable the de developer option so now go to system and you should now see developer option Go there and enable the toggle next to OEM unlocking and USB debugging. Well, the bootloader will be already unlocked. So there is no need to enable OEM unlocking. Just enable USB debugging. You will get a prompt on your phone. Tap on OK. You might get an RC key prompt as well. In that case, tap on allow. Now go to, to the platform tools folder address bar. Type in CMD and hit enter. This will launch command prompts and platform tools. Now type in ADB devices and make sure that you're getting an ID. If you are not getting any ID, then unplug and replug your phone from the PC. Disable and re-enable USB debugging. Tap on revoke USB debugging. Use the official USB cable that came with your phone. And use the USB 2.0 port on your PC. So carry out this USB fixes and make sure that you are getting an ID. Once you are getting this ID, your next course of action is to get hold of the Magis APK file onto your phone. So let's download the APK file. I have given the link and once you have got the APK file, Simply transfer the APK file onto your phone as well. So this is the Magis APK. Let's copy the Magis zip file as well. You may directly flash the Magis APK file on via the TWRP recovery, but still, let's take the zip file as well. So copy both the APK and zip file. On the Magis official GitHub page, you will only get the APK file. To convert it to zip, you will simply have to do a rename to zip and then you will get the zip file as well. And as you could see, we have got both the Magis APK and ZIP. And now let's proceed ahead with the next step. So you will now have to download the TWRP recovery for your phone. You may either download it from the official site or from trusted third party site of your choice. Once that is done, we will now flash the recovery file onto our phone. So for that, you will have to boot your phone to the fast boot mode. So type in ADB reboot bootloader and hit enter. And your phone should now reboot into fast boot mode in a few seconds. So let's just wait for that to happen. And once it's in the fast boot mode, type in fast boot devices and make sure that you're getting an ID. If you're not getting any ID, then you'll have to install fast boot drivers on your PC as well. We have made a separate guide and a video on the same. You could refer to a guide and get the job done. Once you've installed the drivers, use the Windows X shortcut keys and choose device manager. Then expand the Android phone section and make sure that the phone is being shown as Android boot or interface. So this as well as the serial ID next to fastboot signify that the PC is able to read the phone in fastboot mode and we are now good to go ahead. So now you will have to flash the recovery onto your phone. For that you will first and foremost have to verify if your phone does have a recovery partition or not. So I have made a separate guide on and the video on the same. You may use the adb shell command to get this job done and bring a list of auth partition. If your partition list has the recovery A and the recovery B slot then you could flash the recovery to the recovery partition but if your phone does not have any recovery slot then you will directly have to flash it then you will have to first boot the recovery and then flash the zip file 
So again, I'm repeating if there is the recovery partition, then you will flash the recovery in the recovery slot. But if there is no recovery partition, then you will have to first boot the recovery via the fast boot command and then flash the recovery zip file. So in my case, my phone does have a recovery partition. So I could directly flash the recovery file. So for that, your first course of action is to transfer the recovery zip file inside the platform tools directory. So just give me a second. This is the recovery for my phone. So let's transfer the recovery inside platform tools. For the ease of convenience, let me rename it to TWRP and the complete name becomes TWRP.IMG. So since my phone has a recovery partition, I could use the command fastboot flash partition name which is recovery and file name TWRP.IMG and hit enter and the flashing will take just a few seconds. If in your case, your phone does not have a recovery, then you will have to use the fastboot boot twrp.img command and then I'll show you what needs to be done but first off once you have used this command your phone will then boot to the twrp recovery in case you have flashed the recovery you will then have to use the fast boot reboot recovery and your phone will not reboot into the twrp recovery so in case of fast boot flash recovery the recovery has been flashed permanently onto your phone but in case of fast boot boot the recovery is there just for the one time usage and you may make the recovery permanent for making the recovery Permanent, there are quite a few approaches. I have given all the approaches in my guide as well. You could refer to my guide and get this job done. As you could see, there are quite a lot of options to make the recovery permanent. Let me show you just a minute. So, as you could see, these are the various steps to make the recovery permanent. In short, you could either flash the TWRP zip file or go to advanced and select the option. In some phones, you get the option to flash the recovery file from here as well. In my case, that is not there. So you may flash it from here as well. Install the current TWRP. You may use the option to install the latest TWRP recovery or simply install it from the zip file from here. That's the best recommended approach. In my case, I've used the flash command. So the recovery has been flashed permanently in my case. So with that said, we now have the recovery and we could now directly flash the Magis zip file or even the APK file. Nowadays, both of them works. So let's use the Magis APK file and flash it. As you could see, the Magis file is being flashed. And it will take just a few seconds. Once the flashing has been done, you may wipe the dialog cache as well. And now tap on reboot system. And your phone will now reboot to the OS. Do note that as of now, the magic has been installed in the back end. In the front end, the app is yet to be installed. So you will have to manually install the magic APK file as well. And as I have told you earlier, in the official magic website from GitHub, you will only get the magic APK file. If you want a zip file as well, then simply do a rename of APK to zip. You will get a prompt on your PC. Hit the yes button and then you will get the magic zip file. With that said, after flashing the magic, you might witness a few seconds of delay. That is completely normal and nothing to worry about. As you could see, magic is not there in the UI. So you will have to install the magic APK file as well. This is the APK enable allow from this source and tap on update. We are getting the update method and not the install because the app is installed in the backend. Now launch the app. And as you could see, the app has been installed onto our phone. And we have obtained root as well. Let me verify the same. So let's use a couple of apps to verify it. So let me show you a couple of apps which we can use. So one of the apps is the root checker app, which you might already be aware of. And we may also use the Termux app to get this job done. So let me first enable file transfer from here. And I will now show you that I have obtained root on my phone, the GSI ROM. The file are being transferred and should take just a few more seconds. So let's just wait and then we'll install the files as well. So go to the file manager app and let me first install the root checker app. Install it. Open the app and allow agree. Get started. And now tap on verify root. You will get a magic prompt. Tap on grant. And as you could see, our phone has obtained root by magic. It's running Android 15. And likewise, you may also install the Termux app. Let me show you this as well. Tap on open and just tap, type in su super user. Hit enter. You will get a prompt. Tap on grant and it has been given the access. And as you could see, our phone is now running well and good with the magic prompt. As you could see over here as well. So with this, we have obtained root using the PWRP recovery. And this was the first method of obtaining root. However, there are still quite a few phones out there that does not have any custom recovery. So in those cases, they will have to use the boot or the init boot file 
to root their GSI ROM and in this section I will now show you how to get that job done as well. So for that there is quite an important thing to keep in mind. You will first and foremost have to remember the exact firmware build number which you had installed on top of which the GSI ROM is currently installed. So as you might be aware the GSI ROM is just a system.img file. It is not the entire firmware. The entire base firmware is still the original OS which your phone had. So for example in my case in case of one I am using a OnePlus 11. The firmware which I had initially was this one. So as you could see my firmware was A112030. This was the firmware on which I flashed the GSI ROM. So you will have to get hold of the exact same firmware version on which the GSI ROM was flashed. This is quite a difficult task but if you are aware of the build number of the firmware then only move ahead with this step or else you might lead to a few issues. So if you are sure about the form firmware build number on which you have flashed the GSI ROM then let's proceed ahead. So in this regard once you have got the firmware file you will have to extract the firmware in case of pixel it's just a factory image and you must simply extract the factory image and you will get all this folder go to the images folder inside the image folder you will get the boot and the init boot file as you could see the files are there in itself in case of zombie phones you will have to download the fastboot rom then you will get a dot tgz folder extracted using 7zip and you will get a dot tar folder again extracted using 7zip and you will get this folder go to this folder then go to the images folder and inside the images you will get the required boot and the init boot file of your phone as well then in case of oneplus download the entire firmware and extract it upon extraction you will get a payload bin file you will have to extract the payload bin file via fastboot enhanced tool so simply launch the tool go to payload number click on browse choose the payload bin file click on open then go to the partition tab and from here select the boot or the init boot file click on allow incremental extract image choose the location click ok and as you could see we have now got the file init boot file i have extracted and this is the init boot file so, okay one more important thing so if your phone came with android 12 or older version then you have to use the boot file on the other hand if your phone came with android 13 or higher version then you have to use the init boot file for booting so keep this in mind if your phone came with android 12 or older then use the boot img if your phone came with android 13 or higher then you have to use the init boot file in my case i am using a oneplus 11 which i guess came with android 13 so I will be using the init boot file for routing. So once you have got the extracted the init boot file, you will have to transfer the init boot file inside the platform folder on your PC as well. So just give me a second. Let me transfer the init boot file in my case because it, it came with Android 13, my phone. So I am using the init boot file for my OnePlus phone and it should be somewhat here itself. This is the init boot file. So copy the file and transfer it inside the platform tools and once that is done let's proceed ahead with the next step. So now you will have to patch this file via magisk as well. So for that transfer the init boot or the boot img file onto your phone and also transfer the magisk apk file onto your phone. So I have linked the apk file on my guide you could get hold of the magisk app from here and transfer both the magisk apk and the stock boot or the init boot file onto your phone. Once that is done, install the Magis APK file. Then launch the Magis APK file onto your phone. Tap on install next to Magis. Select select and patch a file. And now you have to choose the boot or the init boot file. In my case, it's the init boot file. And tap on select and patch a file. And let's go. And the file will now be flashed, patched, and placed in the downloads folder on your PC phone. This is the download folder, and we have got the patch file. So copy the magic patch file and transfer the file inside platform tools directory. Once that is done, we could now flash the file via in the fastboot mode and obtain root onto our phone as well. So let's now boot our phone to the fastboot mode. So for that, make sure you have enabled USB debugging as well. So go to the settings menu, about device, tap on build number 7 times. Then go to system developer option and enable the toggle next to USB debugging. Once you have enabled debugging, now type in adb reboot bootloader and hit enter and your phone will not reboot into fastboot mode which will take just a few seconds likewise in, type in fastboot devices now and hit enter and make sure that you are getting the serial id as well if you are not getting any id then you will have to install fastboot drivers on your pc so install the drivers and then you should get the id 
once you have got this id now comes the most important part so if you are using the boot img file then you have the option to first temporarily boot your phone to the magis patch file and then permanently install it so this way you could verify if the patch file is working well and good or not but in case of init boot there is no such option you have no other option but to directly flash the file in case of boot you may first do a temporarily boot and if everything is working well and good you may then do a direct install but in case of init boot there is no such option and you have to flash it in the init boot partition so in my case i'm using the init boot but if you're using the boot file you could either directly flash the patch boot file via the fast boot flash and the file name let's say the file name is patch boot.img let's give it the partition name so if you want to directly flash the file then use this command i am only talking about the boot users so you could use this command or you may use the fast boot boot command to first temporarily boot your phone to the rooted phone and once your phone boots to the rooted environment then you could do a direct install by tapping on install next to magis then choose direct install and tap on let's reboot and once you do so you will then obtain permanent root but if you are using the init boot you cannot use the fast boot boot command in other words there is no fast boot boot init boot command so you cannot use this command to get the job done so in case of init boot you have to directly flash the file so let me do that as well let me show you so let's rename it to magis patch for the ease of convenience let me rename it to magis patch init boot mpib and now since i'm using the init boot file i have to use the fast boot flash partition name which is init boot and the file name which is mp init boot.img and hit enter and the file has been flashed in my case now type in fast boot reboot and your phone will now reboot into the rooted environment which will take just a few seconds for that to happen so let's just wait so you may also directly flash the boot file if you don't want to do a temporarily install and do a direct install then in that case simply use the fast boot flash boot command and then directly flash the boot image file as well similar to how we are doing with the init boot file you may take either of the two approaches in case of boot but in case of init boot you have no other option but to directly flash the file once you have flashed the file use the fast boot reboot command and your phone will now reboot to the rooted os so let's launch magisk and verify the result as you could see we have obtained root likewise let me launch the root checker app tap on verify root as you could see we have obtained root and let's now launch the termux app type in su and termux has been given su rights you may launch the magisk app as well and verify the result so as you could see over here we have now got the root and all the apps are running in the rooted environment so guys this was all from this video on how you could root a gsi rom running the latest android 15 build so you have two approaches either using a custom recovery or by the magic patch boot or the init boot the custom recovery is the easier of the two but not every phone has a custom recovery installed moreover please do not use the aosp recoveries such as lineage os or crw recovery is not recommended only use crwrp or in fox or pitch black recovery then if you are planning to root via boot or the init boot file then the most important thing is that you have to extract the file from the same firmware which is acting as a base firmware so you have to keep that in mind download the same build number firmware then extract the boot if your phone came with android 12 or older version or extract the init boot if the phone came with android 13 or higher version then patch it via magisk and flash it via fast boot and then you have obtained root so guys on that note i round off this video if you have any queries with regard to any of the steps do let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching.